UN should pay 100 million Naira Greenfield students ransom before it is too late, says Sheikh Gumi. Sheikh Ahmed Gumi wants the CBN to pay the 100 million Naira ransom being demanded by bandits before Greenfield University students are released. The popular Islamic cleric says the Apex Bank should provide the money on time before it's too late, suggesting that the bandits might harm the students. Sheikh Gumi also lamented that terrorist, terrorist groups are already infiltrating the ranks of the bandits in their various camps across the country. An Islamic cleric, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, on Tuesday, May 4th, urged the Central Bank of Nigeria to pay the 100 million Naira ransom being demanded by the kidnappers of Greenfield University students in Cardinal State. Gumi, who has been at the forefront of championing amnesty for the terrorists, said the federal government must not take the treaty, the, the, must not take the threat by the kidnappers lightly. Gumi was reacting to the comment of the parent of one of the abduct, abductees who lamented that the kidnappers were insisting on a ransom of 100 million naira before their words, before their words are safely released to them. Greenfield University's main gate taken over by policemen after the abduction of some students. The money they are asking for is too much. If I give you that money, you cannot run away with it. Nobody can run. So why not give them the money they release? Why not give them the money if they release the boys and then we pursue them and get our money back and do what is necessary? It is simple logic. So bring the money from the central bank. How can they move the money? We should not be stupid. These people are getting infiltrated. Boko Arams is getting close and they don't respect the clergy. Sheikh Gumi and Elia told African Independent Television during an interview that Boko Haram kidnapped students and not bandits. He said during the interview, bandits don't live in a luxury life. They live in huts. They have nothing. Sometimes they drink from the stream. Meanwhile, some Nigerians has been reacting to the latest comment on the Islamic cleric concerning the bandits. Someone said, so Gumi is sincerely advocating and supporting the idea of continuous ransom payment. Interesting. Another person said Gumi has sincere gotten out of hand and he is an NS security threat. He has become the ambassador to the terrorists. What warrant, what warrant him to speak arrogantly on behalf of terrorists? He must be arrested. This is utterly ins 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 insanity. Another Nigerian said, if Nigeria is a country where things are done properly, Gumi should have been arrested for long, for long as he is connected to bandits and Boko Haram. President Buhari needs to resign honestly. He is the true meaning of incompetence. Meanwhile, a data analyst and journalist wrote to me, Sakore has taken to his Twitter page and give reason why Nigeria's government at all levels are failing to address the, the mounting insecurity in the country. According to him, Nigeria is failing to address the problems due to one, bandits and extremists are plenty of recruits. Two, 100 million citizens are in extreme poverty. Three, 60 million citizens are unable to read or write. Four, 10 million to 13 million children are out of school. Five, unemployment is at 33%. In a related development, 
the British Minister for African for Africa, James Dodridge, has described Nigeria's security situation as massive complex, stressing that no partnership will resolve the multiplicity of the country's problem. Dodridge made the comment while responding to questions from journalists attaching to Nigeria's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Now, you can see the whole dramas. I believe that Cleric Gumi is speaking what is right. If you look at it from a layman angle, I do not know why he's so serious about this. Because previously, there are students or an important people that has been kidnapped over the year. We have not seen such seriousness. Why is this serious at this time about the Greenfield student that has been kidnapped? We don't know why. But technically and suspiciously, you can understand that there was something in between him and them if you look at it very well. Or if there is nothing, why is it so serious? So in that aspect, we begin to be suspicious about the, about the way he talked. Meanwhile, the people that are in captivity right now, they are human beings and they, they are not at rest. They have been suffering if the government can buy into his idea and get those children out, good. If, cannot, if they cannot buy it into his idea, let the government plan, plan another means to get those children out. Because it is very alarming. Those children, they are not enjoying at all. They are suffering. And you know, if, this, if the federal government did not do things on time, you know bandits, they will begin to inflict injury or even kill them. So as a matter of urgency, I am counseling the federal government to do something on time, according to the word of Gumi, so that those children will be saved and bring them alive to their parents. Because right now, the parents has been having sleepless nights the, it's a worrisome situation. Right now, I do not know, I don't know why it seems that criminals are stronger than independent country like Nigeria. If it is in US, I tell you, under, under I mean, 30 minutes to one hour, they have gotten those children out since the day they were kidnapped. But in Nigeria, no negotiation, no contact, the government are relaxing, nothing is done to save those children out. You can imagine what kind of country are we, so something has to be done.